There's pressure from the minority in parliament and civil society for a full-scale parliamentary probe into a contract between government of Ghana and a private entity. Strategic Mobilization Ghana Limited to save Ghana billions of cities that would have been lost in the downstream petroleum sector. According to an investigative piece by the Fourth Estate, the contract is questionable but has since been expanded by Finance Minister Ken Furiata, which will cause the state $100 million in the next 10 years. We'll hear from the minority shortly, but first, assets of the 3 billion cities lie. In a control room in Tema in the Greater Accra region, officials of Strategic Mobilization Ghana Limited explain their services to the 4th Estate News team. We have transistors uh, which are engulfed in the ultrasonic clampons or the real sets. The company tried to convince our news team of its wild claims that it had helped to save billions of Ghana cities that would have been lost in the downstream petroleum sector but for its intervention. More importantly, it tried to justify why it receives payments worth millions of Ghana cities from the government of Ghana through its contract with the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRE. Currently, we are installing a tank system. By the end of our second day at SML Ghana, however, we were convinced that a company, with the help of Ghana's media, had made false and unsubstantiated claims and is paid millions of cities in a deal that appears to lack value for money. A few hours after our meeting, some of the claims began to disappear from the company's website. We were shocked at one point when government said they were bringing in an SML to actually sit at the depot where the product is lifted. And in fact, that is where there isn't much problem. Because when the product is lifted, MPA is able to see you know, how much product has been lifted through the gauging, tank gauging systems and also the metering systems at the uh, depot. So that was never the problem. The problem really was how do you track it to where uh, uh, the tax is actually collected or is supposed to be collected. Uh, for you to be able to uh, make the money. So from day one, the, 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 the importance of SML uh, was questioned by all the industry players. You can talk to all the players in the sector and they will tell you that where SML is positioned, they cannot be doing revenue assurance uh, for, for the state. SML Ghana, like other private sector service providers, was engaged to curtail huge losses in the downstream petroleum sector. Some oil marketing companies, OMCs, which lifted petroleum products from the nation's depots, sold the products and refused to pay hundreds of millions of cities of the tax, levies and margins components on the petroleum products. Some of these debts become quite heavy based on the OMC's lifting levels. So that's why some of these debts, and if the person is not stopped immediately from uh, loading petroleum products, then it means you'll be accumulating as it goes on. According to Minority Spokesperson on Mines and Energy, John Ginapa, who is also on the Finance Committee, the deal should be immediately suspended pending the parliamentary probe. It's, I think it doesn't because it's not an international transaction. Yeah. If it were an international transaction, but I think that it should have reflected in their budget approval because we've just considered GRS estimates. And this has not found expression in GRS estimates. It doesn't also found expression in the finance minister's estimates. Because these are huge figures. And for such huge figures, you would normally come with your budget and add the footnotes. And the footnotes gives us the details as to what you want to do, especially with your goods and services. So clearly there's a problem. It hasn't also found expression with NPA. So somebody quietly has signed this agreement, milking the nation, and but for Manasseh and his team, this would have been perpetrated for a very long time. So realistically, though, what can Parliament do about this? First of all, Parliament can pass a resolution. And I think it's not too late that in considering their estimates and their appropriation, we want to see where this very amount sits. 
which agency is responsible for this amount. And parliament has the power to decide that we will not appropriate that money. In fact, we've just decided we are not appropriating some 5 billion for a certain entity. Because we felt that it was not necessary given the situation that we find ourselves. We are in a serious tangle with the Minister of Finance itself. They are locating some 350 million for some very projects that we disagree with. And we are saying that allocate it to the sector ministers and ministries. We don't agree to the Minister of Finance keeping money, sitting with the Minister of Finance and deciding that they want to engage in infrastructure projects. That is not their job. Between the government of Ghana, led by the Minister of Finance and SML Limited, to undertake some so-called uh, assurances, revenue assurance. And uh, first of all, let me commend the fourth estate, Manasse, and uh, the media houses who conducted this investigation. Indeed, the minority has discussed this topical issue and will be moving processes in parliament to ensure that there's full-scale investigation. Because we do not believe that there's value for money. This contract is a rip-off. This contract only ends up uh, filling the pockets of greedy politicians and individuals because uh, just a couple of weeks ago the Mines and Energy Committee visited NPA and we were made aware that they've put in place enough systems, enough mechanism, enough infrastructure to ensure that all the loopholes and all the losses are safeguarded and that they've even hooked up with the Ghana Revenue Authority to ensure that all those assurances are catered for. And so the question is that why would you need this? Even more importantly, it's turned out that the so-called three billion savings was nothing but a host. We cannot allow the taxpayer to be burdened with such unnecessary contracts. Energy lawyer Kwame Jantwa says there must be an independent probe into the deal he spoke on PM Express last night. What were they there for? Why did they bring them in? What was the re reason for? If the amounts of money they say they pay them, pay them a month, 24 million. Up to 24 million. Up to 24 million every month. Then we don't need to go to IMF. If we have that kind of money in the country, we don't need to go to IMF. That's about 288 million a year. It's a lot of money, cities, a year. So really and truly, we need to look at it. And the question is, is it the OSP? Or is it Parliament? I, I, I hope there would be probably a mix of Parliament, stakeholders, CSOs, to look into this particular issue. Because if OSP does not have the money to do a lot of these prosecutions, then it's going to go into what? 2024, 2025, 2026 when we will finally find something being done. So if Parliament, bringing in the CSOs, can sit and look into it and give us results quickly, it would help. Yeah, but, but, yes. But you're